Hey fellow woodcutters, Topsaw here. Today I'm going to go over a router inside the router table. This is specifically a Bosch router. Talk a little bit about cutters, collets, and then how to change the cutter in and out. I thought I'd do it while the router was up out of the table so you could see what's going on. So to start with right here, this is your cutter. Don't ever touch any of these until you're completely unplugged and you tucked it yourself. There are two common diameters on cutters, and that's talking about the shaft. This is a quarter inch, and this is a half inch. The collet has to correspond. So this is a half inch collet here, and then this right here is a quarter inch collet, and it'll just come off. And then that collet corresponds to the shaft of the bit. You always wanna use the largest shaft you can to prevent deflection. So let's say we only have this cutter without a half inch shaft, so we're gonna use this cutter. It is a bearing cutter, so no fence. But this one has no bearing, so you would have to use a fence with this one. So first we're gonna use a quarter inch collet. It just screws in here. It should never come off, just loosened up. And then that quarter inch shaft goes inside there. And it doesn't drop and seat right down on top of the collet. It comes up a teeny bit. If it comes up a lot, you're going to get deflection in that shaft. So you want it as deep as you could get it without touching the collet itself. Okay. So now we have collets and cutters figured out. Let's figure out how to tighten this up when it's outside of the table so you could see. But before I go over tightening that up, let me just show you how this thing sits. The screws down in these corners here. But these screws right here adjust the overall height of this plate. You want this plate to sit just a little bit proud of here. So when you run your material, it doesn't catch on this edge. Okay, so this is a tightness adjustment. This is locked down in place. And then this is unlocked. And then this drives it up or down. So as that plate's coming down, it's really the router going up and giving you more and more cutter. And then this button right here is a quick release, so you could go a lot more at a time. And then this is fine adjustment. There are measurements here to tell you how much is going up or down. Okay, and then to tighten that bit up, these wrenches will always be in this table. They should never go away from this tool station. Because so I gotta hold the shaft right there. That's the smaller of the wrench. So that wrench goes there. I bring this tabletop down a little bit like that. I can still grab that shaft. And then up above here, I tighten it up. And then you tighten it to a finger tightness. And then I'm using the wrench right here. There's pretty good strength on there. And then that's it. And then from there, this thing drops into the tabletop. Keep your fingers far and away. Always use a push stick. Make sure you got your glasses on. Don't use the tool unless you've been properly trained on it. This thing is way too high up right now. So we gotta lower the overall height adjustment. So again, to do that, I'm gonna lower, open this lever up if you could see it. Open this lever up and then bring this thing up or down accordingly. Okay, thanks for watching.